I previously broke the story about how the Daily Beast writes a lot of pro-Clinton propaganda articles because Chelsea Clinton sits on the board of directors of IAC, the company that owns the Daily Beast. Now, they have not disclosed this to the public, so they're writing all of these uh, propaganda pieces against Bernie Sanders uh, under the guise of neutrality. See, the difference between the Daily Beast and me is that I outright tell you that I support Bernie Sanders. I've even worn Bernie Sanders shirts on the podcast. I'm not claiming to be neutral, but they are, so they're trying to mislead voters, and this is really problematic. Now, thankfully, a uh, message got out, and even the Young Turks are talking about how Chelsea Clinton sits on their board, and that's one of the reasons why they're so incredibly biased. But there's more to it than that. Uh, Michael Tomoski, for example, wrote a book about Hillary Clinton. Kelly Joff used to work for Hillary Clinton. These are all individuals who have pushed pro-Clinton propaganda on the Daily Beast under the guise of neutrality. Now, they're back at it again. Uh, they don't care that we now have discovered that they are just shills for Hillary Clinton, uh, Michael Tomoski has a great new article titled, Time for Bernie Sanders to Get in Line. Now, this title is incredibly appropriate because if anyone knows how to take orders and get in line, it's the Daily Beast, specifically Michael Tomoski, because he loves taking orders from the Clintons. Uh, so let's get to what he has to say. From here on in, Sanders ought to lay off the attacks of Hillary Clinton, the Goldman Sachs speeches and all the rest. Eventually, he's going to lose. She's going to win. He can do it in a way that burnishes the standing in the party he's decided to be a member of, and that makes him a pivotally powerful senator during a potential Clinton presidency. Or he can do it in a way that damages her reputation and ultimately his own. See, this is interesting because uh, David Brock, the head of multiple pro-Clinton super PACs, is also pushing the same narrative. Is it the fact that maybe great minds just think alike or that you guys are taking orders from someone, that you're cooperating with someone who wants you to say these things? Hmm, I'm curious. Again, I have to think, who sits on your board of directors? Well, I said this to David Brock when he said the same thing, and I'll say it to you. If you don't like the facts that Bernie Sanders discloses about your candidate, then that's not an attack. That means that you just disagree with the facts, which means that in turn you disagree with your candidate. That shows that your candidate is flawed not Bernie Sanders. So if you don't like when Bernie Sanders talks about facts, that she takes money from Wall Street and then tells us that she's going to regulate them, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if the truth hurts, then get out of this party, because there is a party in the country that will uh, be fit for your interest if you love lies. They're called the Republican Party, so why don't you join them? I'm not sure why you're still in the Democratic Party uh, if the truth hurts. But anyways, I want to get to why Michael Tomoski thinks that Bernie Sanders will lose, and his reasoning is odd to me. So uh, Virginia is an undisputably important November state. One that if the Democrat wins, she or he probably will not lose the election. The kind of state where a candidate needs to be able to make the case, I can carry this state. And she didn't merely win Virginia, she just smothered him there. 65 to 35 percent. It's Virginia where the handwriting of where this is headed was splashed on the wall. Sanders had little appeal beyond the college campus. That doesn't make any sense at all. Let's just forget about the fact that there are still literally thousands of delegates available. Let's just put that aside and let's just look at Virginia. Well, he lost Virginia, so wash your hands, Bernie, you're done. Stick a fork in him. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, and furthermore, here's the thing that is really obnoxious. He doesn't tell you that the reason why Hillary Clinton wins any states is because voter turnout is low. See, this is a consistent trend thus far. Whenever turnout is low in a state, Hillary Clinton wins that state, just like Republicans. So when it comes to Virginia, 200,000 less people voted in 2016 than they did in 2008. It's no wonder why Hillary Clinton is winning in these states. But where turnout is high, Bernie Sanders wins. So I wouldn't boast too much about that because that's a pretty embarrassing fact. But the fact that Michael Tomoski doesn't think Bernie Sanders can win is not the point he's trying to make. The overarching point he's trying to make is that if Bernie Sanders is going to remain in this race, even though he's not viable and he's just going to lose, well, he at least needs to be civil. He needs to not attack Hillary Clinton. Uh, so when it comes to the Republicans, feel free to point out their corruption, point out the money that they take from all these special interests. But when it comes to Hillary Clinton, see, she's above criticism. You can't attack her because he, she's a Democrat. I mean, I mean, what, do you want a Republican in the House? That This is the point that people make all the time. Well, I've got really bad news for you, but this argument doesn't hold any weight with Bernie Sanders supporters because in the eyes of progressives, Hillary Clinton is not that different than Republicans. The difference is really marginal. Now, here's his main argument. Sanders should keep running. He has the money, so why not? 
but it's time to start pulling back on the food fight. Now he ought to have landed back on Earth. There is no point in trying to attack Clinton at this point. There is a point of amassing delegates, securing his position as leader or the co-leader with Elizabeth Warren of the left populist, keep her honest wing of the Democratic Party. That's a really important role. A guy who got 36% of Democrats in Fairfax County, Virginia, isn't going to be president, but he can be important if he decides he wants to be. <laughs> okay, so a guy who didn't win this one county out of thousands of counties, in the entire country he's not gonna be president dude like I want to know what you're smoking it must be good it must be really great stuff to get you to be this delusional now I've got bad news for you an individual who can't get votes from progressives or young people also will have a really hard time becoming president and also if she gets indicted during a general election guess what that's gonna make it really difficult for her to become a president so if you actually do really want to prevent a Republican from winning then you better back Bernie Sanders because he beats Hillary Clinton when it comes to hypothetical matchups against Republicans. I don't understand how uh, it, Hillary Clinton is somehow going to have an easier time beating Republicans. It just doesn't make any sense. When half the party hates your candidate, what makes you think that she's going to be better? It just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. And this is why uh, there's no reason or logic here. This is why it's just propaganda. But now I want to get to the attacks because if you're wondering what type of attacks he's talking about that Bernie Sanders does, well, I already told you. That's right. <laughs> you might have missed it, but literally, uh, he said the Goldman Sachs speeches and the rest. That's it. That's literally the one attack that he talked about in this entire article. So he's literally making an argument even though he presented zero evidence. I mean, if you're going to do propaganda, at least try to make it convincing, but they don't even try. They just think that we're idiots and that we'll accept anything. It, I don't think that Michael Tomosky believes the shit that he's writing. He's just doing this because maybe he got orders from somewhere. Maybe he's trying to follow the, ba the bandwagon that uh, Bernie Sanders needs to stop attacking Hillary Clinton because at first he jumped on the... Uh, Bernie Sanders is an electable myth bandwagon, and now he's jumping on the Bernie Sanders needs to stop attacking Hillary Clinton bandwagon. Uh, so either you're taking orders from somewhere, uh, or you're just a terrible journalist and you're just trying to jump on every trend that other journalists talk about. But we know exactly what your intentions are. You wrote a book for Hillary Clinton. You love Hillary Clinton. Chelsea Clinton is your boss. So it's very, very clear. Now, with all of this in mind, uh, you can still try to at least provide some evidence and write a convincing article, but you don't even try. Like, I, it doesn't make any sense. 